This is Star Wars Rogue Squadron for the Nintendo 64. It's been ages since I've played in this game, so let's, uh, I've completed it, I think. Let's go and have a look at it, shall we? Start on the very first mission. I look forward to watching the uh, Star Wars, yeah, it will be the X-Wing. Classic X-Wing. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to get done for copyright. Uh-uh, no way, don't want to get done for copyright. <laughs> As I was saying, I look forward to the uh, anticipated Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, I think it's called. How do you... What's the buttons again? Oh, damn, I forgot the buttons. Right, let's pull down these to shoot. Let's use that, see right. How do you stop? How do you slow down? Z, nice one. I love this game. It's really challenging, but it's really, really fun as well. Especially if you're a Star Wars fan, like I am. Big Star Wars fan. I'm not a huge, huge, huge Star Wars fan, because my Star Wars knowledge is... As I was saying, my Star Wars knowledge is uh, not as good as it used to be. But I'm going to have to pick that back up. I'm going to have to get the comics again and stuff, and read the books, graphic novels and whatnot. I've got two lightsabers though. Yeah, two lightsabers of the uh, little collector's edition. Oh, shut up. Feel my wrath. Eat my dust. Imperial probe droids. Yeah, I'll shoot these little guys. If you've never played this game before, I greatly recommend it. It'll take a while to complete, which is good. You want to get your money's worth. Alright, let's go to more science. The quicker and the more enemies you destroy in the game, in each level, sorry, you've got more chances of getting a gold medal. You do get ratings at the end of each level. I think most of my stuff is uh, silver. The very first time I had this, uh, when I was little, I spent hours and hours on this game trying to perfect it. Now I'm just rusty. And like the more civilians you save, depending on the mission, you've got a chance of having a... Like that, see? Gold medal. Which is good, yeah. Oh. But that's an example, but I've already got the gold for this. You can You get um, rated on your completed time, enemies destroyed, accuracy, friendly saves and bonus collected, etc. Game cetera, basically. You get ratings on all of those. Let's do one that everyone is familiar with. Where are you? Where are you? I can't see you. Excuse me a second. I think I went past it. I'm missing my sight sleep. Under villain Barkesh. No. Search for. Wait a minute. Imperial officer Chris Maydean wishes to join the Rebel Alliance. Ah, uh, we'll do this one. Why not? We'll do this one. Pick the snow speed up. I 
I used to be so good at this game, but now I'm just rusty. It's like as soon as when I get older playing different other games, my skills on these old games are just they just disappear. They just disappear. I'm not happy with that. How do I change? There we go. takes the sound effects from the films, it's just amazing that. I really like that about this game. Thanks mate, I enjoyed that. Thanks for the help. I really appreciate it. Alright, back to the city, get rid of those TIE fighters and TIE bombers basically. They're not TIE fighters, they're TIE bombers. I should know that by now. Kidding, Sherlock. How do I turn around? There we go. Oh, shut up, I clearly hit him. Gotta save all them people, boy. I imagine some people might get quite dizzy playing games like this. Gotcha. Sexy. Sorry, man, I'm singling you out. That's what annoys me about this game as well. You, yeah, it takes ages to try and shoot these enemies down. Like that. Thank you so much. I think I'll leave it there, my fellow video gaming minions. Thank you very much for watching Star Wars Rogue Squadron for the Nintendo 64. I greatly recommend this game if you haven't played it already. Thank you very much for watching. If this is your first time seeing this game. And may retro gaming live on.